Evidently a lot of those up ahead. I don't need a lot, really. It's quality that matters.
This is a state secret, do you understand? I've been granted clearance only after a fight to protect the D6. They said they needed me to teach their recruits, because the war was still on. Don't you think I was shocked? What did our people in D6 die for? What did I lose my legs for? But I understood. Because the war was still on. Security was paramount. Our people would have understood. So please, do the same. You would have spilled the beans to everyone in Metro. You got them Prometheus, a Messiah. You must lead the people out of the caves. Do you think you would have saved anyone? Remember that jammer? What if Moscow has been found out because of you? What if there are missiles inbound? Anyways, no matter what they think of me, I'm no deserter and will never become one. I'm ready to bear full responsibility for everything. But if there is even the smallest chance to earn my pardon, I will take it. Which means that we, like a runner that tricked, need to keep running ever faster just to keep balance. And don't dare you trip us all over again. Am I understood? I hope I am. Anyway, at least now we know where to run. So, go back inside and take a look at the map. Our route is pretty obvious now. Seems to me, whether it was intended or not, that our colonel now has a goal to strive for because of you. We all remember the way you fought back in D6, so no matter what lies ahead, we're with you. You can count on us. Yeah, yes. As for me, I'm running a little inventory check. Yeah, it is kind of cramped in here. I'm thinking of making something of a workbench. So that's all the instruments we get, and everything else would be within arm's reach. With no workbench, you just lose small components. We'll use this place to work on the weapons. Cleaning, boiling, keep out of everybody's way, and keep them from messing with my stuff. Ah, well, we'll have to take turns, of course, but we'll manage. So, if you find any weapons you'd like to keep, I'll store them for you here on the Aurora, and you can come back to exchange them. You'll get them back in their best shape ever, don't you doubt. Ah, boy, have I cleaned and oiled a lot of weapons in my life. Hmm, factory, and homemade too. Some of those were just amazing, so unusual. So, if you have any weapon-related questions, I'm your man. And weapons, they are like girls. They need attention. You clean your weapon well, you oil it, you check the ammo. Because these dirty ammo caps do get rusty sometimes. But if you put your heart into it, the weapon never fails. Ah, well, I'll just finish oiling this one, then start on another.
people could have called me up there to drink to Aurora. I still think Beelzebub was a better name. <laughs> Speeding along this Eastern Express. 
MREs for the same ammo, or, or a new hazard suit. I wish I'd known there'd be no need for them. The corporal sold them way too hard. That bastard. <laughs> Get them while they last. He even gave me a book as a free extra. Quotations from Charman Mao. Uh, 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 do you know this writer? Uh, Mao? Anyway, here I am like a fool with the stupid book and the filters. While well, we could really use that new grade ammo now. <laughs> you, you never know who or what we might meet. The Pistol. You're not giving the book enough credit. At the very least, it contains a whole world of wisdom on fighting the war against the Imperialism. Which we might encounter on the way, even though so far we just seem to be fighting our own. Yeah, Anna's pulling no punches this time. Perhaps she shouldn't have. It's not like the Colonel understands everything. Mm, now who's in the right here? Uh, whoever's not wrong, obviously. Well, who's not wrong then? He who does nothing and says nothing to. Give me a break. Who's in the right now? Everybody is, brother. And nobody. Uh, I shouldn't have asked. When I'm not understood, I am bothered when I don't understand. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. 
Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau.